hello friends so let us continue the previous tutorial that was uh, regarding the sql loader uh, so in the previous tutorial we have already seen uh, about the files that need to be prepared uh, before doing the sql loader process so now let us um, start with an um, by preparing a data file that is dot dat or dot csv or not so i have opened my notepad i'm just going to give some uh, data here like i'm going to say 10 and I'm going to say accounts. Um, this is my uh, it's going to be a dot CSV file, okay. So then I'm going to say US, then 20 sales, okay, 10 30, some research, then okay. So I'm just going to save it as a dot CSV and say all files then i'll just name it as uh, dpt1 dot c csv okay so after same you can see this if you open this you can see our uh, it's uh, like properly arranged in excel so we'll use this file and uh, we'll see how we can load this file into our table so let us uh, prepare um, you know a table here so I need to have a, uh, no, uh, the table that uh, looks like a department, the previous department table itself. So let me create a table called um, department underscore test. Okay. As um, select star from department where one is equal to two okay i'm just copying the structure so when i say mm, oh, sorry department underscore test you can see the same thing whatever was there in the department table the same structure is copied to our uh, but uh, we won't be having any records in this if we just uh, you know test it sorry There's no records okay so what we'll do now is we'll uh, uh, the table is ready and our even our uh, the data file is also ready now let us uh, you know create a control file so control file is e easy we know the table name our table name is uh, department underscore test right yeah department underscore test so uh, let's uh, create the control file to create the control file just say load data then here uh, we are going to insert so and um, because it's an empty table or else even you can instead of instead of inserting even you can say truncate also it will just uh, trunk if there are any records uh, previously it will truncate it and load the new data into it so i'll just say truncate then i'm going to say into table my table name my table name was department underscore test okay uh, then after that i'm going to say field as this is a uh, csv file i'm going to say field terminated by comma and you can give an another uh, thing called as optionally sorry optionally enclosed by hash if this comma is not available if ash is there then it will consider that as a delimiter okay so after this just uh, give the table some field columns whatever is there so it had a department number then a department name and finally it had a location columns right so this is how we need to prepare the control file then here again say all files then um, give the name as department one itself and say ctl so our control file is also ready so so data file is ready control file is ready now let us go to the command prompt and here so what i'm going to do is you just need to um, you know say sqld loader this is the command sql ldr then need to give the uh, you know 
username and password okay then after that just uh, say data and uh, give the path where your data is there so i'm going to say uh, i'm going to say that um, c uh, colon then backslash then it's going to be uh, it was in uh, my program then slash then the file name it was department one dot csv then continue don't uh, enter uh, don't give enter anywhere because once you say enter in the command prompt it will start executing then you say control the where the control file was so give that path also slash my programs slash department one dot uh, clt sorry it's ctl then uh, finally uh, give the bad uh, file path also these are all automatically generated so slash then sorry slash um, my programs slash dot as i said the extension is going to be dot bab then after that uh, give the discard the part also slash department one dot bsc so discard is going to have an extension dot bsc okay so this is how you need to write the command cld then the uh, username uh, password then give the path name of data that is uh, my programs dot csv then the control path then finally the bad and the discard and even you can give log also if it doesn't give also no issues it will you know automatically generate so after this just click enter now let us go back and see whether the lo data is loaded yeah the data is loaded you can see before we had no uh, records in it and also there is there is no errors and that's why this log file the back file is not uh, generated so in the next tutorial we'll see how we can make use of the fixed length uh, uh, file and how we can load the fixed length files into the uh, into the database okay hope uh, this was helpful thank you very much for watching